Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina and on this channel I share different tutorials and new techniques how to work with vapor paper. And today in this video I'm going to show you how to make beautiful velvet texture using vapor paper on your cake. So let's begin. So to start with making my velvet texture I will need my vapor paper. And because I work with wafer paper quite a lot, I prefer to save my scraps in a bag and you can see I have a full bag of wafer paper scraps. And also I usually have a bowl on my table for scraps where I keep them when I'm cutting my flowers. So I'll start with this part. And another piece of, or the only piece of equipment you will need is a coffee grinder. I have this basic one, spice grinder, coffee grinder and I'm going to put my scraps inside. That's the similar technique we used to make our wafer paper snow last year. But now I'll show you how to color your wafer paper and make it velvet texture in the color you want it to. So I'm going to put my scraps here. You can see that it's almost full and I'm going to process my wafer paper to a fine texture. You can see it became this very fine wafer paper powder, almost like a starch. And if I wanted to color, so if I wanted my velvet texture to be in a different shade, I prefer to use just a little bit of powder color. Any color, I have the Cecilia Rose or this powder color by Saracina. Any powder color you can add with your mix. And you don't need a lot, depends on the color you're going for. And you need to process this again. So now I have my blush pink velvet texture and I'm going to make quite a lot of this mixture. So I'm going to put it in a bowl and continue grinding my wafer paper until I have enough to cover my cake. Now that I have my mixture and I have plenty, I think, I hope it will be enough to cover my cake. I'm going to mix uh, piping gel with water a little bit to dilute it, to make it not so thick. So I can use a fan brush or something to apply it onto my fondant covered cake. You can use corn syrup or you can use anything that's sticky and relatively thick so you can attach your velvet texture onto your cake. And I'm going to use this fan brush to apply in a thin, even layer. For my cake, I'm going to reuse the same dummy cake I used to make my lace cake. And to apply this texture, I find it's easier to use just your hand or you can use a large pastry brush. I usually prefer to start from the top and apply a thin layer of piping gel or this diluted piping gel mixture. And usually I prefer to apply this texture in segments and because piping gel won't melt your wafer paper, usually it's relatively easy to go back and fix if you have any spots you missed while applying this texture. So I'm going to roughly cover half of my top tier and this part with this piping gel. And piping gel stays sticky for quite some time, so you don't need to worry about drying this too fast. So now I'm going to take my mixture and just gently press onto my cake. And you can see I have a plastic tray underneath my cake so I can collect and reuse all this extra velvet, wafer paper velvet scrubs so I can reuse it again and again. And get yourself a soft brush so you can remove the axis and make sure you're not going to misshape your beautiful wafer paper velvet texture. You can leave it to dry and remove the axis later 
I prefer to clean as I go to see if I have any empty spots I need to add more piping gel and more wafer paper. So you can see because I'm using a dummy cake, it's not perfect and it, uh, it has some remaining texture from using this for another tutorial. But the velvet is a technique is so beautiful, you can cover almost any mistakes you have on your cake and you can cover all the blemishes if you are not professional in working with fondant cakes. That's the texture I would suggest you to go for because it's very easy and it's very forgiving. So let's cover this part up with all the tiny holes I have. And also that's a great way to reuse your dummy cakes if you're working on building your portfolio and you wanted to have more variety presented with different cakes, feel free to reuse your dummy cakes. You don't need to cover your dummy with fondant every single time. You can just try different textures and apply maybe a rough stone texture or something like this velvet texture onto a cake to cover all those tiny holes and mishaps. So here is my bottom tier. I'm going to take my brush and again remove the access. Make sure that my texture is even. And at this point I'm being very gentle because I want this fluffy velvet texture to stick and to give me very even beautiful velvety coverage. So I will continue on working and covering my top part and my other sides. I have here the same. I'll start with the top first and then the bottom tier with the pipe and gel mixture. Now that I have my cake evenly covered with this texture, I'm going to leave it to dry completely, maybe for an hour or so. And if uh, I need to go back and fix some spots, I can do that also using another layer of piping gel and just patch in small places like I see I have here. So that's might be what I need to be done. So just a touch of piping gel and sprinkle of this velvet texture. And that's it. Now you know how to make this uh, beautiful velvet texture. I'm going to add a few wafer paper flowers just to complete my design. But basically it's very easy and very versatile because wafer paper is edible and you can make it in any color you want. So now I have my cake. I wanted to show you how to make the easiest wafer paper flowers to go with our cake. I have a piece of wafer paper. This is just half sheet of basic wafer paper 0.5. 27 millimeters. I'm going to use powder pearl color and tiny fluffy brush to apply on one surface of, of my wafer paper. I prefer to apply my petal dust or any shiny dust on the smooth side because I find that it works better and it's more obvious that your wafer paper is shiny. But feel free to experiment and try different ways and find what works for you. But now you can see how shiny that wafer paper gets. And I'm going to cut it roughly in small pieces. So for my first flower, I'm going to cut three strips about maybe one inch or two and a half centimeters width. And then I'm going to cut my flower petals just basic flower petal shape. You can make it more round or you can make it more triangular or whatever you want it to make. I'm going to use about 10 petals for each flower and I don't want them to look absolutely even. I still wanted to have some differences. And for my leaves, I'm going to cut a little bit bigger shapes. Just cut it on an angle to make it look different from my petals. So this is the shape for my leaf and something like this is the shape for my petal. So to attach all my flowers to my cake, I'm going to start from the top and I'll take the same mixture with my piping gel and water and I'm going to gently dip my first petal into this mixture and place it on my cake. 
just like that. And I'm going to take more petals and arrange them on a cake. If you find that your wafer paper doesn't want it to stick with piping gel, you can try water or wafer paper glue because sometimes our piping gels are a little bit too thick and it just takes longer for wafer paper to stick. So this is going to be my first layer for my flower like that and I'll start another one somewhere here again five petals for my first layer and I'm placing my petals shiny side up because that's the side where it has more pearl dust and maybe a few buds I'll start with maybe three petals for the back so I'll start with three petals for the first layer just a little bit closer to each other press down and a few more for the second so you can see you can use this technique to create different flowers and i'm going to add more layers to my flowers here i'm going to stack them almost the same position so i'm not going to place them in between because that's the look i'm going for but this is a very easy way to create beautiful lacy flowers for your decorations and to finish my flower i'm going to use small edible pearl this is blush by pme that's the pearls i love to use they are about two millimeters and i'm going to place it here in the middle to finish my flower i'm going to do the same to the other one and for my leaves, because my leaves are just basic leaf shapes, I'm going to use my scissors and just cut a few insertions inside to make it more interesting. Like this. So now I have my leaf a little bit more dimensional. And I'm going to play around with this design to continue placing my flowers and my leaf. But you get the idea if you wanted to add a few stamps, if you wanted to connect your flowers, you can use the same piece of FIFA paper and just cut thin stamps. And you can add the stamps to your flowers if you wanted to have more connections. But that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my time and just play around with the design. So this is my final design I went for. So I had a few more flowers and different layers. So you can see with this pink velvet texture and all the layers of these flowers I have here, it's very beautiful and it's very easy technique to make and i hope you try it for your cake designs and share on social media thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you like it if you really enjoyed my tutorials please share with your cake friends it helps me a lot and give me a like so i know what tutorials you wanted to see more on my channel see you next week same time same place bye bye